aftercare for Pixel Blending and Pixel Shaming. Um, if done correctly, you should barely stab. So because of this, I like, I tell my clients to treat it like a burn. Just pretend like the skin is, um, is burnt. <laughs> so when, what you would do, you wouldn't not wash a burn for a week, right? That would be not hygienic. You would be looking for a infection. So um, for the first two hours, you are leaking that lymph fluid. You know that clear fluid that kind of comes with a burn? Same thing. We are slightly damaging that top layer, so you will get some of that lymph fluid. So over the first two hours, I send them home with my Heal Me. It's just like an essential oil blend. And then at that two hour mark, I actually have them really like with soap, uh, do a nice cleanse to get off all of that um, all of that lymph fluid. Uh, otherwise that lymph fluid will dry and form like a little thin crusty scab. So if you remove all of that right then and there, uh, then moving forward, you will have barely any scabbing. It's amazing. So uh, after that first two hours, you're just gonna wash one time daily. I actually tell them to get their hands wet, do a little bit of antibacterial soap, really lather it up, do soft circles, and then splash to remove it, never rubbing uh, on the brow itself. Then after they're all the way dry, uh, twice daily, I have them apply a healing ointment. I prefer essential oil blends. Um, I do have one that I love, but you can pretty much use whatever aftercare you want as long as it's just really nice and thin. So, But to be honest, uh, pixel bladed and pixel shaded brows are pretty hard to mess up. <laughs> uh, there's not those big ugly scabs that they wanna pick at so you don't end up with that spotty, uh, ucky look that you get with uh, some other techniques.